Mike here with? Jason Castriota. Jason. All right, and you are the design specialist on the Phoenix? Yes, I'm executive design director for Saab, and uh, I can walk you through the Phoenix if you'd like. Go for it. Sure. So, you know, with the Phoenix, we really wanted to reach back to Saab's aeronautical roots. You know, Saab was born as an airplane company that in 1946 decided to make a car, and that car is called the Ur Saab. You can check it out online. It's UR Saab. And essentially, that car was about taking a, a fuselage, like the wing of an airplane, and then suspending a teardrop canopy in that. It was a very aero-efficient vehicle. So we wanted to really get back to the spirit of that, but of course utilize modern aerodynamics and modern know-how, and, and really push the design language into a more emotional, fluid design language. So that's really what the, the concept's about, stylistically speaking. Very nice. And I noticed while looking at the interior of the car, you used cameras for side view mirrors? Yeah. It's a whole shot in the dark? Well, you know, it's something that you've seen on some concepts over the past few years. It's something that we're hoping is going to meet legislation pretty soon because what it does allow us to do is, is reduce drag on the car. Mirrors are very big and they, they create a lot of turbulence around the car, so they're very inefficient from an aerodynamic standpoint. That being said, we of course need them in a very important factor. So the rear view cameras mounted that you already see today on some of today's cars for rear view for backing up. Someday, very soon, we're going to have them also side mounted in the place of traditional mirrors. Now, what was the whole concept on the interior if you want to just walk sure. over? like seats well, just trying to go for is, is really again about, very you know Saab has always been about the, this cockpit this driver orientation so and there's certain minimalism uh, to the IP itself you know the information panel and what we have in this car is going to be the first worldwide application of smartphone technology in an automobile so there's systems on the market today that are touch screen and that, that have a lot of the features and functions that you need in your automobile like your navigation and your, your infotainment but this is actually an open source Google Android system so this will never go out of date you can upgrade it your navigator in your car will never be behind that on your phone or or a Garvin or a TomTom so it's very exciting apart from the fact that because it's open source if anybody creates an app for Google Android you can actually download it into your car your car is an instant Wi-Fi spot. So you can run all your computer programs, your Facebook page, YouTube, download videos, music, all right there at the touch of your fingers. So right you basically your have your own little means to the world right there. You're, in your you're always council. connected. You're always connected. And that's a big part of today's world. It definitely is. And I also notice how it's, it's you, you basically sectioned off the driver to the passenger by turning the uh, yeah the, the real cockpit orientation we really wanted this to feel much more a sporty driver's car more so than usual uh, for Saab and, and that's what this product is about it's about creating something that changes people's perceptions a bit shifts them and shows them that Saab is a, is a passionate dynamic brand right now with the wheels I notice you went a little bit they look like propellers to me yep I'm gonna guess you're going with it like you well, said it's a turbine it's it, the wheel comes is inspired by the turbines that you see on modern jet aircraft of course and they actually do have a function the the section of the wheel actually helps keep air very attached to the cars so they're very aero efficient and they're also very good for cooling under braking air is able to to get in and out of the wheel uh, for efficient brake and cooling now brake wise any specific type of uh, did you go all this, ha this has a very aggressive Brembo brake, brake package, oh, yes. yes. I also noticed that carbon fiber is the way to go today to lower the, the weight of the car. It's, it's and light and strong. I mean, obviously for production purposes it's difficult because it is still very expensive, so you see it on some exotic vehicles, not yet in, let's say, mainstream production cars or even smaller niche production cars as something like this would or could be. Uh, given that it's a show car, we can take those liberties. So this is all done in carbon fiber, even though we actually painted the, the body to look kind of like liquid metal. You know, the idea of this mercury poured over the skin. So the actual, the entire car is carbon fiber? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's Except for the chassis, pretty impressive. The chassis is our, is our new uh, modular platform that the next generation Sobs will be built off of, and that's a mixture of steel and aluminum alloys. Well, Jason, thank you so much for Thanks your time. So it's thank definitely you a pleasure meeting you. Absolutely. And we're off to our next adventure.